Hi, I'm Seth Freuberg. I'm the Director of Options Training here at SMBU in Manhattan. I'm also the head trader on SMB's Options Trading Desk. And uh, today I'd like to talk about the most important risk management advice uh, that I can give to uh, beginning options traders. And in fact, I give this advice at the beginning uh, of each of our weekly options trading webinars uh, that we call the Options Tribe. We hold those on Tuesday afternoons uh, every week of the year. Uh, after the market closes and we've developed an options trading community and I always give them this admonition at the beginning of each uh, meeting and that is what are your goals what are your goals and ask yourself that question first of all and if your goal as many options income traders is is to um, trade for a living then you have to then go through a process that will get you to the point of your goal and so I'd like to talk today about the right way to get to that process, that right way to get to that goal and the wrong way to that, get to that goal. And I'd like to start out actually by going through what the wrong way is. You see, a lot of options traders uh, find a strategy that they experience some success on, let's say for three or four months. And they look back and they say, you know what? Um, I've had so much success with this strategy on a very small amount of capital. If I had only traded 20 times that amount of capital, uh, I wouldn't have need to work this month. I could have quit my job uh, and just trade this strategy. Uh, and I'd much rather be doing that than the job bow that I'm trying to um, you know, leave. So therefore, they quit their job. And they then put 20 times the amount of capital into the trade in that next month. They were being very foolish, of course, because once you do that, uh, you are going to experience something you've never experienced before. Because instead of being down a normal drawdown on a trade of, say, uh, 200 bucks, now you're going to be down $4,000 at that very normal part of the trade. And suddenly, you're going to panic and most likely start to trade very, very badly. And uh, almost invariably, when you do something like that, that month you will get stopped out at the maximum loss allowable on that trade. It's uncanny how often that happens when people um, irresponsibly ramp up their capital. What happens after that? You've blown up your account because now you traded much larger than you should have. What, ha what happens after that? You go back to your boss and you say, sorry I quit, that was very foolish, will give me my job back. And suddenly you're back exactly where you started, no closer to your goals, but much less in your bank account because you didn't go about this process wisely. So what I want to talk about now is the wise way to go about this process. First of all, you've got to be realistic and you have to accept that if you want to transition out of your job into a full-time trading career, it is not going to take you a month. It's not going to take you three months. It's not going to take you six months. If you're lucky by the end of six months, you will have begun to find yourself as a trader and find what are the strategies that are working consistently for you. If you are lucky enough to have that happen to you within six months, and for some people it takes several years to get to that point, but let's say you're one of the quick ones and you get to the six month point where you have uh, developed strategies that are working for you on a fairly consistent basis. Then, and only then, can you start trading those strategies on slightly more capital. I'd suggest no more than a 5% increase in capital per month. Why such a small percentage increase? Number one, because you don't know how you are going to react to larger dollar drawdowns in the midst of an otherwise successful trade until you uh, experience that with live capital uh, on the table. So if you go, let's say, 5% a month increase every month as you uh, are continuing to trade successfully, you start to build a risk muscle, uh, a muscle of, uh, of your ability to tolerate risk. And as that increases slowly, uh, you will find that as you incrementally and very judiciously increase your capital level, you will do so um, in, a, in, a, in a way that's going to give you the opportunity to experience increasing drawdowns, but nothing that's going to be very, very scary for you. Now, you may get to the point as you keep increasing your capital where you start 
trading more erratically because the dollar amounts are, are now getting larger. If that's the case, don't increase your capital any further until you start to return to your previous successful trading habits uh, prior to your uh, program of increasing your capital. So uh, if you do instead start from a small base of capital and begin to slowly increase your capital level, uh, watching that you're, you're trading consistently as, consistently as you had previously, uh, then eventually you will get to the point where you're trading enough capital so that you could transition away from your job. That could take four years. That could take two years. That could take five years. It's not going to take six months. It's probably not going to take a year. If you're an incredibly um, uh, astute trader, maybe it could take you 18 months, maybe at the earliest uh, two years would even be a very quick period of time for you to get to that point. The big mistake that so many people make is they experience a small amount of success. They then uh, ramp up capital outrageously. They panic when they have a reasonable drawdown and then they blow their account up and they never get the opportunity to find out whether they could successfully trade uh, options for a living. The great thing about options income trading is that you can stay in your job, and I, sh I strongly recommend that you do that, stay in your career, even if you're trying to re uh, transition away from it, because you only need to have, in most cases, uh, the access to your uh, trade, say, three to five times a day. So if you have the kind of job that allows you to do that, and many people do, then you can stay on your job, continue to build your risk muscle, continue to build your options trading competence and then ultimately you'll be in a position where you could transition away from uh, your job eventually after having gradually very very gradually increased your capital level so in summary don't be foolish and think you can transition away from your job in three to six months because you've experienced a small amount of success on a simple options trading strategy it's going to take longer than that. You need to accept that. You need to get into the mindset that this is going to be a two to five year transition process. If you do that, you won't blow up your account. You'll build your confidence. You'll build your risk trading muscle. And uh, then you have a shot. You've given yourself a really good opportunity uh, to trade for a living. So please listen to this advice. It is the most important advice that I can give any uh, beginning options trader. you got to trade small in the beginning. As you experience success, very, very, very slowly ramp up your capital level until the point that you can really afford uh, to trade full time for a living. So thanks very much. If you have any questions about this, you can go to optionstribe.com and go to the contact section and you can fill out uh, that form and uh, we'll be happy to answer any further questions you may have about this. Thanks so much for your time.